Hey guys, this is Steve with Fuel It. Hey, we wanted to just give you a brief overview of our DIY uh, port injection kit. Uh, we're going to do the simple assembly of it, show you how to do that. Um, first of all, though, we'll cover what comes in the mail when you order it. Our basic DIY port injection kit obviously includes the rail, and then you'll get a DIY port injection install pack that looks like this. So it's the seven elongated seven millimeter bolts seven lock washers, the uh, Dash 6 AN um, connector, the Dash 6 AN threaded O-ring plug, two eighth inch NPT plugs, four three millimeter screws to assemble the rail, uh, some super lube so that you can for installing the injectors, and then of course six OEM gaskets um, for mating the surface to the head. And then, optionally, which most of you will order anyways, is we have the six injectors that you'll have ordered. Um, these are Bosch 42 millimeter injectors. So if you're not ordering injectors from us, you'll need to supply your own injectors. Um, our options include the 550cc and the 750cc injectors. And then just to show you, this is just the very basic um, fuel line. This is the minimal fuel line that you can get uh, unless you ordered it as a meth kit and you got the meth fuel line that will also attach to the Dash 6 an adapter. But anyways, this is the T-style one. This has our um, new T-fitting that fits onto the HPFP hard line and then uh, the stock fuel line connects to the male side of this and then this part connects to the uh, rail itself. So that was kind of a brief overview of what you're probably going to get in the mail and then next we're going to go into the assembly installing the injectors and um, just getting everything assembled and ready for installation. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do our basic kit assembly right now, show you uh, how to install the injectors, where everything goes, just kind of a quick, basic uh, install guide. So first of all, of course, we have our fuel rail, and then we have our spacer kit, and the OEM uh, spec gasket grooves, for the interface between the spacer and the head. And then for tools, we're gonna to need a um, 5 8 wrench if we are using, if you're installing one of our basic T-style fittings with the fuel line. And then we'll need an 11 16th wrench, and then a 3 16th Allen wrench. And then for these four screws, we actually use a three millimeter uh, Allen wrench as well, but we've got that installed in our um, drill so we can make it a little bit faster. With this basic port injection kit, the injectors are optional. In case you're supplying your own injectors, maybe you're upgrading from another kit, maybe you've got some supplier or what, what have you. Um, in this case, obviously, we're going to show you how to install the injectors, assuming most of you are going to order with the injectors as well. And then, of course, as you can see, we've got our two 8 inch NPT plugs. We've got our Dash 6 um, plug, O ring plug, for the um, optional return. So, if you're not running a return, um, you'll plug this and, and leave this plugged. And then we've got our seven elongated bolts for the intake manifold. And then our seven lock washers, our four assembly screws. And of course, our six uh, OEM gaskets. So we'll go ahead and set aside the stuff that we're not going to really use right now and move on to the actual assembly. So, the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your silicone lube and liberally put some of the um, silicone lube on your O rings for the injector. So, let's just put a little on here. Smear it around, put it, make sure and put it on both sides, like so. All 
while I'm doing this, if you happen to order the um, port injection setup and tuning option that is on our website, this will all already be assembled for you. So when it arrives, you won't have any uh, port injection assembly like this. The injectors will be installed, assuming that you've ordered them and, uh, and so on. And then if you're ordering any fuel lines or ethanol sensor or uh, port injection controller, all that stuff is already um, plug and play. Um, the split second controllers are already flashed for you according to how you've ordered them, whether they're JB4 integrated or uh, maybe you're running flash only. So um, that stuff all comes plug and play. So pretty much everything else is plug and play um, with, as, uh, with it being a DIY kit. You know, of course, then um, there's there's some assembly required for this part. We go ahead and we like to put a little on these O-rings as well. It helps them seat a little better and they don't hang up while you're trying to tighten them up. So go ahead and just take that little extra and, and put on there as well. So when we do these, we'll go ahead and we'll do the, uh, the spacer first. Um, in this case, for this rail, these injectors need to be installed with the plug up. So right now we have the tab for connecting the rail and the spacer together. Install, put that face, put that face down and then install the injectors face up. So just kind of twist them a little bit as you install them. Get them seated in place. Also, as you can see, all of these injectors are um, uh, on a 45 degree angle. We do that so that the injection angle goes across both valves. It doesn't directly spray any of the intake runner walls and it, it intersects the airflow path um, prior to hit or hitting any of the uh, intake runner walls because we don't want um, fuel spraying the intake runner walls. So, all right, so we've got those installed now. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the actual fuel rail itself. Okay, so as you're pushing this in place, obviously one, they have to be lined up. And then two, um, just wiggle the, the injectors back and forth a little bit just to, to spread out that, uh, that silicone grease and just kind of give them a little wiggle, let them work their way in there like so. It's a tight fit, but we want it to be a tight fit, so just kind of work them, be a little bit patient with it, just continue to work them in. Make sure everything seats well. If need be, go ahead and tilt it up on the end. Again, you can see everything's seated pretty well there. Again, just give them a little bit of a wiggle though, so that makes sure everything is, is good here. Nice and seated, okay? All right, so we've got that done. Now, on the back side, as you can see, we just got our four screw holes that we need to install now. So go ahead, go ahead and install those. We're going to use the, the drill just to make things a little bit quicker and easier. That's how we install them here. But if you do that, make sure you thread these up a little bit first. Um, like so. Everything's clean there. We just set our torque setting to like five. So now our injectors are installed. Everything's in place. Also, just to mention real quick, this just made me think about it. When you get your injectors, if your injectors aren't labeled like this, they haven't been flow matched. Um, the reason being, when you get on the injectors from us, they're flow matched, and you'll see that they're all numbered. And so, like, that one's harder to read with this reflection. This is like number 35 here. So with your injectors comes and you can see 35. And so you can see the flow data here for the injector matching when they did the flow testing on there. So just a quick note about that. All right, so now that we've got the injectors installed, we also have our end port plug we need to install. So that is our first eighth inch MPT fitting. And here's our 316 
Allen wrench. These already come, as, as you can see, they already come with the, the Teflon tape on them. So you just go ahead and screw those in, like so. Get that to seat as, as much as possible with that tape on, or that tape or paste on there. I'm not sure which it is that they're using there. It, it does take a little bit. Make sure you get it nice and tight so it seals up good. Okay, so we have one more available, or one more port plug we need to install. This is cylinder six. This was an option we just recently added. This is a boost reference. So if you're running, say, our stage three or stage four pump and you're using a hob switch to trigger the secondary, or maybe you've got uh, a boost gauge or, or what have you, that's what this boost reference port is for. If you're not installing anything in it, obviously we'll need to plug it. So that's what this additional plug is for. And go ahead and get that installed as well. So I'll get that nice and tight. We don't get any boost leaks. All right, so you can see that's nice and tight now as well. Okay, so this is the intake, or excuse me, the supply side of the rail. So here's cylinder six, here's cylinder one, and here's the supply side. On the supply side, we do the adapter. So we've got the, the dash six AN fitting here, and then of course the threaded O-ring adapter. So go ahead and thread that in. And then that takes an 11 16th inch wrench to tighten it up. Just get it snug, don't over tighten. These are all aluminum parts, but you can put a little bit on it. And then of course, as I said, our uh, Dash 6 uh, port plug with the O-ring. And then goes down here on the return port if you're not installing a return port. If you've gotten a return kit from us, it'll have this fitting as well, and you would install that here. All right, so that's all tightened now. So that was the assembly of our DIY port injection kit. Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, also then, if you got our, our T-style fitting, basically our very basic, um, LPFP supply line fitting. Uh, we'll go over real quick just how to do that. So as you can see, this is a female uh, Dash 6 AN fitting, so it'll just thread onto the rail like so. And then also for our HPFP hard line, this will connect to the HPFP hard line. And so you just take that fitting off the end and I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll actually grab an HPFP hard line and the stock uh, fuel line so I can show you exactly how those connect. Okay, so here I've gone and I've grabbed uh, HPFP hard line. On the N55 and N54, they're virtually the same. N55 doesn't have this LPFP sensor, but it does have the same connection, still in the same location, and so on. This is uh, the flexible, LPFP supply line that you would disconnect from this hard pipe right here. And then once you've done that, then you'd go ahead and put our fitting on, put the oops, backwards, lock in place, okay? And then since this is kind of, since this is a T-style right here, it's, it's kind of actually easy to hold it in place and, and lock it in place, but Anyways, like so, if you, if need be, you can use an 11 16th wrench and, and clamp it on there, but here you just lock it in place. So now we've got a good, secure lock. And then the uh, stock uh, LPFP supply line just literally clips in place like so. Yours may also have a little gray clip that goes around there. I've seen uh, a lot of times they do, sometimes they don't. Um, so anyways, when you go to take that off, these are a little bit of a bugger. Um, let me grab a wrench, just me on our screwdriver. Okay, when you go to take these off, the, the stock fitting or so, um, it, you, you just basically make sure you don't have any pressure in the LPFP supply line. And then you go ahead and depress that blue here and then I'll see if I can have my cameraman go ahead and pull on the supply line there and 
whoops, here let me push it on. Uh, actually, I think it was released, but hang on just a second, don't pull on it yet. Okay, now pull on it. Whoops. All right, so that's how that goes. Um, maybe a little more gingerly than I did, but anyhow, it's you, you just push the line in, push that blue part back, and then you can pull the line off uh, of the stock HPFP supply line. So anyhow, that was our basic overview of assembling the um, DIY port injection kit, and then how to install our T-fitting um, if you're running the, the very basic fuel line. And then our other fuel line options also includes this same cam lock design style, but of course they don't have the T-fitting um, because you'll have a, a completely upgraded fuel line with a Y assembly that will supply the port injection kit and the HPFB. All right, well that was C with fuel-it.com and thank you for watching.